And I got to tell you, it was a really interesting interview. Will I get kicked off Spotify and fucking podcasts, uh, iTunes or whatever the fuck it is? Probably. Is it worth it? I don't know. You know, it's a coin toss at this point. I, I think that uh, powers that be will make that decision and I'll just keep on moving, right? Because what do we always say? We're like sharks. If we stop moving forward, we're dead. So we have a big episode. We have a great interview. A um, couple of things I do want to talk about. NFL forfeit games. So if a player, if an NFL player is not vaccinated and his team has to forfeit a game that's not able to be rescheduled, they're going to forfeit a game. I, I kind of said that backwards. It, it's just, we are in a fucking war right now. All right. I just walked into, I, I'm, I'm actually recording in Action Park Studios for the first time ever because we have a full house. Uh, at the Avery residence, the Avery Rota residence is a full house right now. And uh, I, I'm on I'm on unusual soil. OK, I walked in and uh, I'm not going to say the person's name. Well, maybe I will say his name. So we all know Kevin Connolly, E from Entourage. Uh, he just had a baby, Mazel Tov, OK, baby, baby girl. Kevin got got COVID. Kevin was fully vaccinated. All right. You can walk down the street now and meet people or bump into people that were fully vaccinated that have had COVID after their vaccination. Have I met anybody that's had COVID twice? No, I haven't actually. So, you know, uh, we're in fucking we're in a war right now. We're in a war. We're in California. They're, they're making us put our fucking masks on again. It, it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop until all of us people, Americans, North Americans, Canadians say, you know what? Fuck this. OK, it's my body. It's my choice. I'm going to live how I want to live, because how long is this going to go on for? How long are we going to be in this fucking nightmare? I, I, I want to ask that question. Tomorrow, we're supposed to go to Universal Studios for Nash's first, first birthday. I don't want to go to Universal Studios now and walk around with a fucking mask with a bunch of other people that are masked because, you know, science is one thing. But now the, the, the gray line between what is science and what isn't science has been obliterated. All right. There's no such thing as fucking science anymore. It doesn't even exist. And I'm really fucking sick of it. I am. I am. I am energized. All right. I'm looking for a fight. And I don't really care. I, 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 I'm, I'm done. I'm over it. All right. You know, Rick Dennison, Minnesota Vikings coach, he just parted ways with the team over the vaccine because he didn't want to get vaccinated. So the team, I guess the two of them said, you know what, let's just part ways. It's going to be easier. So people now are starting to lose their, their livelihoods because they want to make a personal decision. They don't want to put a vaccine in their body that hasn't been FDA approved. Can you imagine that we're, we're, we're looking at those types of people and saying they're monsters? The fucking airports in Canada, Toronto and Vancouver airports, re just recently reversed a decision to take away their vaccine lines. So those two fucking airports had lines, different lines for vaccinated people and unvaccinated people, which you know, what's ironic in this whole thing is that you could fucking buy, you could, you can get vaccine cards. You can go down to Canal Street and buy a fucking vaccine card. But we think that there's, there's no system, but we'll still create lines that alienate people or put somebody in this line because they're vaccinated. We'll put you over in this line because you're unvaccinated, which by the way, just a call back to what I said earlier about fucking Kevin being fully vaccinated and getting fucking COVID. So where does this stuff begin and where does it end? I, I you know, I don't know because I got no problem walking into an airport and going into an unvaccinated line. But I can tell you, there's a lot of people that are honest people that probably feel very uncomfortable about that. And we're making these people like we're turning them into lepers, honest fucking people who just want to make a choice personally. But all you crazy people will say, well, they're going to kill somebody. 
they're irresponsible. Well, how the fuck do you know that they haven't already had COVID and their antibodies are through the roof? How do you know that? Or how do you know that they have some sort of, I don't know, immune deficiency that says they shouldn't have the vaccine? Because there are people that have immune issues that couldn't take the vaccine, all right? But we live in a world now that is at war with each other. That's that's where we live now. We are at fucking war with each other and there's a line drawn in the sand and you're either on one side or the other side. And what's what's actually ironic about the whole thing is this whole six foot rule, which doesn't even fucking exist anymore. You know, all you fucking heroes with your masks on that think the world's going to end, you have no problem butting up to my ass while I'm in line at fucking Starbucks. When six months ago, you would cower on the street and and go into the fetal position, covering your fucking head with a blanket because somebody walked by you. So it's incredible how quickly things change. Everyone, all you fucking people that are full of shit, Take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the fucking mirror. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. I'll tell you what's not embarrassing. If you want to be happy.